Recently, we released a video that explained why boards cup and how to avoid it. But what happens if you do end up with a cupped workpiece and you can't mill it flat again because you don't want to make it any thinner? You try removing the cup. If you raise the moisture level on one face of the board, it will cup in the opposite direction. That may have been how the cup occurred in the first place. Maybe you left the board on a bench top overnight and humidity in the air got to the upper exposed surface more than the lower one. The solution may be as simple as setting a fan next to it to dry that newly crowned upper surface out a bit. You could even set it out in the sun. Just keep it off the damp ground and be sure to keep an eye on it. You can over dry it and cause the board to cup in the opposite direction. You can also remove a cup by adding moisture to the concave side. Try putting a damp cloth on the surface and then use an iron. You can actually steam the cup away. But again, be careful. It's easy to go too far. You don't want to get caught in a cycle of ironing opposite sides of your boards all day long. Once the cup is out, cut your joinery immediately. Your rabbits, your dados, your dovetails, or finger joints. Then if the board cups slightly again, it won't matter as much because the clamps will force it flat when you assemble your joints later. Finally, store your project parts in plastic garbage bags if you won't be using them within the next few hours. That'll help keep the moisture from changing and the cups from ruining your day. For more great tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker, check out Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. You can read and subscribe for free at stumpynubs.com.